Smells are one of the strongest triggers of memory, but sometimes our super sniffer can be super bad for our mental health. Hey Sniffers, Trace here from DNews HQ to talk about the nose. When you smell something, volatile molecules are evaporating into the air, entering your nose, and they come in contact with small cilia attached to the olfactory bulb. The cilia are attached to neurons, like the ones in your brain, but these are exposed to the air. Those neurons tell your brain what it is that you're smelling. Scientists love to research smells and how they work because we don't actually know much about them. Now thanks to a new study in the Journal of Neuroscience, we are learning how that ancient sense is affected by our emotional state, giving insight into how important our sense of smell was to our former evolutionary selves. The sense of smell is one of the oldest senses, evolutionarily speaking. It's been relatively unchanged for eons, and even some of the lowest on the evolutionary ladder have some semblance of a sense of smell to navigate the world. Smell can trigger a number of things, danger or food, water, hunting trails, friend or foe, even a familiar safe haven. Each tells us something about the world around us and is process the same as any other smell. At the University of Wisconsin, researchers used an fMRI to scan people's brains while they smelled regular, innocuous stuff. I'm not really sure what that means for this study, but I've looked at a bunch of smelling studies and they have participants smell a bunch of stuff and they pick which ones have the least association. Those become the neutral smells. After they checked over their brains during the sniffing of those, participants looked at pictures of war, car crashes, and other anxiety-inducing photos. Afterward, those same people reported those same innocuous smells as bad smells. Why? Because during times of heightened emotion, there was crazy crosstalk between the emotional and olfactory centers of the brain. The two centers are right next to each other inside of there, so as a person becomes more anxious, the emotional center of the brain is rolled into the olfactory process, and we start to perceive the world more negatively, even in scent. According to the researchers, this feedback loop could heighten distress and lead to clinical issues like anxiety and depression. The study is opening up new clues as to the way anxiety and depression can feed each other and how the human body physiologically reacts to stress. With more knowledge, maybe we can find new ways to fight these ills. What smells trigger your emotions? Tell us about it in the comments, and if you smell what D-News is cooking, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a bite. Thanks a lot.